Hi, I'm Manuel. Hi, I'm Fizil. My name is Ian Abasta. Good day everyone, this is Cristobal Kappa. Hi, I'm Joanne. My groupmates and I will tell you all the things you need to know about Ascariasis. So what is Ascariasis? Ascariasis is a type of roundworm infection caused by the helminth Ascaris lumbricoides. So what is Ascaris lumbricoides? Ascaris lumbricoides is the largest nematode parasite found in the human intestine. Females of this are 20 to 35 centimeters long and males are at 15 to 31 centimeters, which means females are longer than males. But the males have a distinct feature of being a large cylindrical worm with tapering ends. The anterior end of Ascaris lumbricoides is more pointed than its posterior end. And the mouth at the anterior end has three finely toothed lips, one dorsal and two ventrolateral. The color of these Ascaris lumbricoides are pale pink or flesh when freshly passed in stools, and they are colored white when exposed outside the body. The parasite is found worldwide, but is more frequently found in tropical and subtropical regions, including Latin America and Sub-Saharan Africa. Ascariasis is frequently found in areas that are poorly sanitized, have low degree of personal hygiene, and places where human feces are used as fertilizers. Globally, an estimated 807 million to 1.2 billion people in the world are infected with Ascariasis lumbricoides. In the life cycle of Ascariasis lumbricoides, adult worms live in the lumen of the small intestine. A female may produce approximately 200,000 eggs per day, which are passed with the feces. Next is the larvae develop infectivity within fertilized eggs in our feces after 18 days to several weeks, depending on the environmental factors, whether it is warm, moist, or shaded. Next is after the infective eggs are swallowed, the larvae hatch will invade the intestine, intestinal mucosa. From the intestinal mucosa, the parasite is carried by the systemic portal and is consequently brought into the lungs. Within 10 to 14 days, the larvae matures further in the lungs which allows them to penetrate the alveolar walls, ascending towards the bronchi bronchial tree until it reaches the throat. Upon reaching the throat, there is a tendency that parasites are swallowed back into the stomach until it reaches the small intestine where they develop into adult worms. These adult worms can live up to 1 to 2 years. We're talking about the current status of Ascaris lumbricoides infections globally. In 2010, around 819 million people were infected. In 2020, 807 million people to 1.2 billion people were infected by the said parasite. It usually occurs in tropical countries such as the Philippines. In the Philippines, a study was conducted a few years ago, having the result of 23.7% of the population in Luzon, 38.4% of the population in Visayas, and 21.2% of the population in Mindanao were infected by the said parasite with the age range of 5 to 90 years old having moderate to high risk of infections rather than the other age ranges considered. These are the two anthelmintic drugs that can treat asteroids. These are ivermectin and mebendazole. So these two drugs are the choice for the treatment for asteroids infections to remove parasitic worms in our body. Infections are usually treated for one to three days. The medication appear to be effective and have little negative effects. Dosage is the same for children as for adults. There are a number of ways to prevent the helminth Ascaris lumbricoides. First, avoid coming into contact with the soil that may contain human excrements such as human feces, use of fertilized crops. Second, before handling food, wash your hands with soap and warm water. Third, in order to avoid infection, teach children the necessity of washing their hands. Fourth, all raw vegetable and fruits should be washed, peeled, or cooked before consuming, especially those grown in manure-fertilized soil. And lastly, an effective sewage disposal system.